Hi everyone, this is Al Shaddai's Amazing Grace, also known as God's Amazing Grace, and this prayer is to break generational curses. Galatians chapter 3 verses 13, Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. For it is written, cursed is everyone who's hanged on a tree. To those who are under generational curses daily, this is for you. Repeat this prayer for the word of God says, pray without season. And by the covenant of the blood of Jesus Christ, you'll be set free in Jesus' mighty name. As it reads in Acts chapter 3 verse 19, Repent, therefore, and turn back that your sins may be blotted out. So in Jesus' mighty name, I and those who are in agreement to this prayer, repent from sexual sins, including fornication, adultery, abortion, lust. We also repent from laziness, lying, jealousy, weakness, anger, rage, bitterness, hatred, and racism. We also repent from sinful addictions right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we also repent of any involvement in false religions, witchcraft, occult practices, astrology, gangs, fortune telling, and palmistry in Jesus' mighty name. Fire by force, I take authority over all physical diseases and illnesses affecting all in agreement, including cancer, heart disease, arthritis, mental illnesses, and diabetes. Additionally, I break every agreement made by our ancestors that are causing these afflictions. For it reads in Luke chapter 10 verses 19, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. I command all demonic spirits that have gained access to us through generational sins and curses be disabled and destroyed from our lives and households right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It reads in Lamentations chapter 5 verse 7, Our fathers sinned and are no more, and we bear the iniquities. But through the blood of Jesus Christ, our Saviour, it reads in 1 John chapter 1 verse 9, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So in Jesus' mighty name, every unrighteous generational sin and curse attached to us be nullified by the blood of Jesus Christ. Every demonic pattern in our lives and family lives that is destroying our purposes, inherited, I declare the power of the shed of blood of Jesus Christ demonstrated on the cross over every demonic pattern in Jesus' mighty name. In the name and by the blood of Jesus Christ, I break the power and hold of every curse that has come through spoken words to us in Jesus' mighty name. I decree and declare that Satan has no hold over us through inherited curses or occult practices, sacrifices and rituals because we have been set free by the blood of Jesus Christ. Every inherited curse through our individual bloodlines that has caused divorce, marital problems, poverty, singleness, sickness, barrenness, be rectified right now by the blood of Jesus. And I destroy every trace of this evil within our physical and spiritual DNA with the blood of Jesus Christ. I bind and rebuke all familiar spirits and spirit guides that will try to operate in our lives from our ancestors in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I break all curses to our finances from our ancestors that cheated or mishandled money in the mighty name of Jesus. With the fire of God and the blood of Jesus, I break all oaths, vows and pacts made with the devil by our ancestors in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I call upon the hammer of God right now to break every time release curse, secretly declared curses and written curses that would activate in our lives as we grow older in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Break in Jesus' mighty name. Break in Jesus' mighty name and be nullified by the blood of Jesus Christ. Any demonic altar calling our names due to ancestral covenants, I smash you these altars with the word of God and I cancel every declaration, agreement made for us to bow to you and your idols with the blood of Jesus Christ. For it reads in Leviticus chapter 26 verses 1, You shall not make idols for yourself or erect an image or pillar and you shall not set up a figured stone in your land to bow down to it. For I am the Lord your God. All in agreement 
we bow to the almighty God for it reads in Philippians chapter 2 verses 10 to 11 so that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. I decree and declare with the authority of the Almighty God given that every generational curse is broken. Freedom is upon our heads with the blessing and prosperity and no weapon fashioned against us will prevail in Jesus' mighty name. Almighty God, beginning and the end, let the floodgates of heaven pour fresh anointing upon the heads to those who stand in agreement to this prayer for marriage, unity, prosperity, fruitfulness, joy, happiness, love, wisdom, perfect health, knowledge, peace and freedom upon everyone's spiritual and physical DNA. But it reads in Psalm 132 verses 18, his enemies I will clothe with shame, but on him his crown will shine. Everyone in agreement begin to shine. You are shining for the light of God is upon you in Jesus mighty name. Thank you almighty God for removing all generational curses. You are the most high. We love and adore and worship your holy name for you are wonderful and you deserve all the glory. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Holy Spirit. And I seal this prayer with the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen.